Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class, so let's come to a comfortable seated position. If you're not able to sit cross-legged, just sit in any way. Shoulders are relaxed down from the ears, stomach and chest proud. Close your eyes for a moment. Setting your intention for today's class. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. And we're gonna slowly open up the eyes, wiggling your fingers, rotating your wrist, turning your neck left and right. Slowly come back to center. And we're gonna inhale the arms up above the head, turn the palm out, exhale again. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. Whenever hold our breath. Two more. Inhale, arms up to lengthen. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale, arms up. And we're going to stay here. Go to the right side. Outside hand, grab on the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Inhale, center. Lengthen in the spine. Exhale to the other side. Outside hand, grab on the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Slowly come back to center to lengthen the spine. Exhale to the right side. Bending the lower arm. Top arm is pressing in. Feel the length in the left side of your body. Slowly, slowly come back up. Lengthening the center. Exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm. Top arm is pressing in. Slowly, slowly come back up to lengthen. Exhale, twist, give yourself a hug. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Wrap the back arm around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulders, locate the back, turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs. We're going to inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, twist, give yourself a hug. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Wrap the back arm around your waist. Slowly come back to center. And this time we're gonna do opposite hand, opposite thigh. Don't lean back too much. Using your exhale breath to turn a little bit more, turning the neck as well. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine or wrapped around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Locate the back. See if you can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath. Continue to stretch lower back muscles, massaging internal organs. Now we're going to slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release hands on the thighs. Sitting up nice and tall. Coming into torso turn. Starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, we will go the other way, reverse, touching all four corners of your space. Now we're gonna slowly, slowly come back to center. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale to bow down. Walking the fingers forward. Elbows off the mat. Neck and spine in one straight line. Chin is away from the body. Lengthening the spine. One more breath. I'm going to walk the hands over to the right side as far as you can go. Feel the length in the side of the body.
And we're going to slowly walk the hands over to the other side as far as you can go. And stretching the other side of the body. Taking a couple of breaths here. And we're going to slowly, slowly walk the hands back. Coming back up and we're going to go into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrist underneath the shoulder. Knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly. Chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, run your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into your cat. So we're going to do this a few times. At your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrae. Two more times. One last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swaying side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Take an inhale to center, exhale to overlook the right hip, let the hip drop. Squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center. Exhale. Right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Swing side to side. Coming into arm balance, right arm and left leg out. Right thumb to the sky, back toe stand. Squeeze your stomach in tight. Neck is finding one straight line. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we'll turn and grab on the back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is curled out to the mat. One more. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. Repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky. Back to stand. Core strong. Keeping the neck and your spine aligned in one straight line. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we'll turn and grab the back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is spread out to the mat. And slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. We're going to front the needle. Inhale, the right arm Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around the waist. So you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the right shoulder, extend the right Last leg out on your toes or on the mat. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues, injury or surgery. And don't worry about the back leg if you find that this is challenging to balance. And when you have enough of it, slowly release, using the left hand to push yourself. Repeat on the other side. Inhale the left arm. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder in. Right arm can be out for the view or wrapped around the waist. If you like, you can extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat. Or right hand, grab hold of the right ankle. Putting more body weight on the left shoulder. One more breath. 
slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. Swaying side to side. Coming back to neutral tabletop. Turn the fingers towards you. Palm on the left. Lean back. Stretching out the forearm, your wrist. You control the intensity. Now we won't stay here for too long. Couple more breath here. And then we're gonna release, turning the hands back, fingers facing forward. Swing side to side. Lifting the left knee up. Fire hydrant. Open, shut. Five times. Opening up the hip joint. And once you're done, slowly release. Set up for the other side, lifting the right knee up to where you're comfortable. Open, shut. Fire hydrant for five times. Once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Bring the left leg outside of the mat on the floor. And we're going to tap it side to side. Feel the leg in the side of your body. Five times. And once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. Repeat on the other side, bring the right leg outside, tapping it side to side. And slowly, slowly release, straight side to side. Getting ready to come up. So meet you in Danda. Spread out your finger, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Pushing the mat away. Lengthening the spine. The meaty part of your palms and all ten fingertips on your mat. Pushing the mat away. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees like mountain climbing. If you have very tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knees. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching on the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more time. Inhale up on toes. Exhale down. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale to down dog. One more. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, to down dog. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. Coming in to a forward bend. All 10 toes facing the front. Legs are hip width. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip goes above ankle bones. Gently shake, yes, with the head. Gently shake, no. Continue to lengthen the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, opening up hip joints. So forward bend is also a good one to do for back pain. One more breath. We're going to get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to front back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up. Extending. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After forward bend, we're going to go back bend to counter. Place your hand on your lower back, pinkies touching. Squeeze the shoulder blade together. Lifting chin up and half up, not pushing the hips forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Let the warm of your head 
to stimulate the lower back area. Shine the chest up to the ceiling, increasing your lung capacity, stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head up. Now we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of your mat, big toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injury. Inhale your abs up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to a flat down, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat, stepping back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Beginners can drop to your knees. Tap your other by your side to slowly come down. Immediately slide up to up, dog, or cobra. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees. Tap your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Come into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread out your fingers. Middle index finger facing forward. Separate your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Align your ears by your inner arms. Eyes are located your toes. Now we look between the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to a Exhale, forward bend, slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up, back bend, and then up down by your side, into mountain pose. Continue, inhale your arms up, upper salute, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on that. Stand or hop back into a plank. Chaturanga is all one breath. Tuck your elbow by your side. Inhale, cobra is multiplication or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Shoulders are internal rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Come into low lunge on the right side. Inhale. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Square the hip to the front. Arms up. Holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Engage your arms. Eyes looking up. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle. Roll the shoulder back. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and head up. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Feel the pinch in your shoulder blades. Slowly, slowly release. Left arm forward, right arm back. Turn a little bit back. Stabilize yourself. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Left hand down, lay up. Open up the hand, look at the top of the thumb. Slowly release the top hand. Both hands on the back to the side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Come in to listen or drag it. Feel free to come on the baby to the side of it. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the right hip wall. Those who can come down the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. And on this side, just gonna do modification. Now we're slowly, slowly pushing ourselves up, bending into the back leg. 
inhale the right arm. And then we're going to either wrap around the waist or grab a hold of the back foot. Coming into a twisted dragon. Be mindful for those who have wrists, elbows, shoulders, or knee issues. Do what you can. Don't push yourself to go beyond your limits. And when you have enough of it, slowly, slowly come back. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Still 90 degree on top of the ankle. And when you get ready for the twist, turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Those who can come up on the back toes, go ahead. You can also open up the arms for more resistance. So once again, I do modification on this side. Stomach not resting on the thigh. So our twisting position helps you to massage internal organs. Now we're slowly coming back to center. Hands on that. Now we're going to rock forward backwards. Stretching our hamstring. Point the front toes up to the ceiling. We're going to do this about five times. On the last one, we're going to sit back. Come sit down. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up. We lengthen. Exhale. We hinge forward. Leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the legs and the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Neck is long. Spine is straight. Stretching out the right hamstring, lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, opening up the hip joint. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come back up. Come in to see the twist. Bring the back leg on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine or wrap around your waist. Don't lean back too much. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation you like. Along you feel the resistance. Once again, we're stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, stretching on the neck as well. One more breath. We're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bend in the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of your body. One more breath. And slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. And we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So take your time to come up. We're going to have right knee down, left knee forward. Knee on top angle between second and third toe. Make sure it doesn't wobble. Square the hip to the front. When you're ready, arms up, holding onto your ball. Shoulders relax down from the ears, eyes looking up. One more breath, release the hands, roll the shoulder back. Interlace the fingers behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Once again, opening up the lung, heart, chest capacity. One more breath, slowly release. 
right arm forward, pull that arm back, turn a little bit back, stabilize yourself. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Right hand down, left arm up. Open up the hand, look at the top of the thumb. Slowly release. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of foot. Rocking forward, backward, side to side. And we're coming into a little of dragging. If you can come down your forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. Make sure you're not dropping the head. Neck is long, spine is straight. Now, if this is too much for you, please push yourself back up to the head level. Don't push yourself beyond your limits. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release, pushing as our back up. Bending into the back leg. Inhale, open up. And we're gonna wrap around our waist, or grab over the back foot. Coming into a twisted drive. Listen to your body on this. Be mindful for those who have wrists, elbow, Shoulder or knee issues. When you have enough of it, we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Hands on that, heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. I'm gonna get ready for a twist. Turn the body to your left side, right elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn a little bit of top elbow. The stomach not resting on the thigh. Now we can come up on the back toes. Lift the heel high, high up. Feel free to open up the arms for more resistance. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on that. Now we will rock forward, backwards. Stretching out the hamstring five times. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. And we're gonna slowly ease us out to seated. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to the front. Inhale your right arm up to the Exhale, we hinge. Leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Now we're not rounding the back or dropping the head. Always remember. Neck is long. Spine is straight. When you come down, stomach come down first. Chest, head is the last thing. Slightly bend the left knee if needed, if you have tight hamstring. One more breath. Slowly, slowly, come back up. And we're gonna come to seated twist. Bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Feel that arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine, direct the around the waist. Front arm can be stop side hand, prayer hands. Front the front hand through this tunnel. For those who have long limbs. And now you feel the resistance is good to go. Keep turning. 
overlooking your shoulder. Look in the back, turning the neck as well. With every exhale breath, see if you can turn a little bit more. Once again, we're stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs. Now we're slowly bringing the body to the opposite side. Again, hand twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of your body. One more breath. And we're going to slowly, slowly curl back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Get the fleshy pad out from the butt. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Hands by your side. Sitting up nice and tall in the stock pose. Shoulders are relaxed. Stomach and chest pump. Point and flex the feet. Pumping blood back to your heart. Helping you with circulation. Increase flexibility, mobility, reduce swellness in your joint. Going into a circular motion. Strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall. Go the other way. Slowly come back to center. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward. Grow longer. Holding on to any part of the feet, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Once again, neck is long, spine is straight. We're going to come down by hinging from the hips. Stomach come down first, and then the chest. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking at toes. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up. And while now we're in the seated position, bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankle, rocking side to side, finding your sitting pose. Fly like a butterfly. Flat boat 10 times. Stock up on medicine cabinet essentials at Walmart. Opening up the hip joint, stretching out in the thighs. And when you're ready, we'll come to a forward bend, draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of the big toe or the entire feet. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, we're going to hinge forward, leading with the chest, bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Once again, neck is long, spine is straight. We are not doing head to ground and also not forcing yourself to come down. Continue to lengthen and then to fold. One more breath, slowly, slowly coming back up, sliding the feet a few inches in front of you, coming to your turtle. This is longer than this one, you can have feet together or slightly apart. We're going to slide the hand underneath to grab a hold of the feet. 
Inhale to lengthen. Exhale at the feet. Now, because we're a turtle in this one, we can round the back. More intensive stretch of the lower back. And if this makes you feel good, just stay here for a little bit longer. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up, sliding the hand out from under me. I'm gonna wish your wiper. So keep your knees bent, this is hip width, hands behind you. Finger facing the same way as your feet, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Hips can come up. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hip release. Now we're going to open up and drop both knees to the right side. Forming a 90 90 degree here. Make sure the butt stay down. We're not lifting the hip up. Feel the stretch here, quadricep hip joint, looking at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort. So you listen to your body on this. One more breath, then we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Wish your wiper a few more times. Hip release. And when you're ready, we're going to drop the knees to the other side, forming a 90-90. Now, if this is causing you a whole lot of discomfort, you can change the angle. Make sure the butt stay down. And you're going to feel the stretch here, pull your sub hip joint. Look at the opposite side. Don't lean back too much. And we're just going to stay here for a few breaths. One more breath and slowly release. Just went your wipe for a few more times to release. Now we'll come to a winding. Use the length of your mat. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Get the flesh apart out from the butt. Sitting up nice and tall. Getting ready for a wide leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward. Leading with the chest. Bring the hands in front of you. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Here, rolling forward. So this is gonna be a point that you can't go anymore and you have reached your limitation. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Opening up hip joint. One more breath. Slowly, slowly, car back up. Coming into a side bend. Right finger hooking onto the right toe, so bring the toes to you. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. The other arm up. Open up the hand, look at the top front. After you have lengthened, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Feel the length in the side of your body. Stretching out the organs on that side. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. Wrapping the top arm around your waist. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. Looking up. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to do a forward bend on this right leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, we're going to turn to the right leg. Shift forward, holding on to any of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, starting to come down a little bit more. 
Once again, we're not doing head to knee, so the entire unit has to come down. One more round, slowly come up, walking the hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose. Spread all your fingers, align the wrist of the shoulder, strengthen the top leg. Use your strong core to lift your hips off the ground. Stacking the shoulders on top of each other. Now you can stay here if you want to turn into balancing. Bring up the top leg, either point of flex. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side. So we'll come back to a wide leg. If a wide leg is challenging for you, bend the leg that you're not using. So we're gonna reach for the other toes. So bring the toes to you. If you cannot touch the toes, hold on to any part of the leg. So release the hands. Bending the elbow, more room to come down. Right arm up. Reach and stretch. Open up the hand. When you're ready, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body. Stretching all the organs on that side, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. Wrapping the top arm around the waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. Slowly coming back up. We're going to bend the leg that we're not using. Inhale, the arms up to lengthen. Exhale, turn to the straight leg. Shift forward, hinging from the hips. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, the lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Leg is long, spine is straight. One more breath, slowly, slowly come up. And we're gonna walk the hands over to the other side. Spread all your fingers, getting ready for the gate pose. Align the wrist of the shoulder, grounding the top leg. Use your strong core to lift your hips off the ground. Top arm up, shoulders stack on top of each other, looking up. Be mindful for those who have wrist, elbow, shoulder issues. Now you can stay here. If you want to make it balancing, lift up the top leg, either point or flex. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. So take your time to come lie down. Now, before we lie down, we're going to go into a reverse tabletop. Set yourself up. Bend your knees. Take work. Hands behind you, once again, fingers facing the same way as your feet. I know some people turn it this way, but I always tell people to have fingers facing your feet. Now use your strong core and your strong leg to push yourself up. And now you're in a reverse tabletop. If you're comfortable, drop the head back. The more advanced student, feel free to go into a reverse plan by straightening out the legs. So try your best. Now, if you're not comfortable to do this, don't worry. Slowly, slowly come down. Strong arms, strong core, strong legs to hold yourself up. And we're gonna stay here for a couple more breaths. When you have enough of it, now we're gonna slowly come down. Come down on your hips first. And then we're gonna do a few rounds of wrist rotation. Release any tension that you may have in your wrist. 10 times one way, 
10 times reverse. Make a fist, forward backwards, banging down. Shake it out, change like box. Shake, shake, shake. Slowly, slowly release. And now we're gonna slide down on your mat. So take some water first before you lie down. When you're ready, slowly come lie down on the yoga mat. Bend your knees. Your spine will automatically release Keeping the natural curve in your lower back and down by your side. And we're going to set ourselves up for the bridge pose. Knees are two this apart, don't open up too much. If you have a block and you want to squeeze the block, place it in a comfortable position. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hips high, high up. Forming a bridge. Exhale. Just slowly, slowly, one more to breathe and a time to come down. So inhale up. Exhale down. If you want to go exhale up, that's perfectly fine. Squeeze your abs in tight. Your quarterstaff and your glutes are firm but not through the point of cramping. So in other words, we're squeezing our stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butts are firm. We're strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Now we'll come up on our tippy toes. So adjust your bridge. If you like, you can place your hand on your waist. So you know this is your max. So continue to squeeze your stomach in tight. Squeeze your block. All the weights in the shoulder. Regular weights in the head or neck. Chain is almost touching the chest. Stimulating thyroid gland. And we're gonna stay here for five, four, Three, two, one. Slowly release the hands back down on the mat. Release the heel back down. One vertebrae at a time, release the spine back down. Once you come all the way down, you can remove your block. Wish your wiper a few times. Hip release. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Release tension. We're gonna stretch out the hamstring next. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Slowly bring the right leg up to the scalp. Worth control. Hands behind the right kneecap. Point and flex the right foot. Drawing circle in the sky, ankle rotation. Continue to strengthen ankle joint so it's not easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. So change direction, go the other way a few rounds. And then we slide the hand further up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. Now, if this is too much for you, ease off. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Hamstring stretch. Staying here for three, two, 
One, slowly release the head down and down by your side. Nice and slow with control, we're gonna release the right leg back down on the mat using abdominal muscles. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Point the right toes up to the ceiling and slowly lift the left leg up using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the kneecaps, point and flex the left foot. So ankle exercise, drawing circle in the sky. Continue to increase flexibility, mobility, reduce wellness in your ankle joints. And we're gonna go the other way a few rounds. Sliding the hand, foot up the leg, or grab a hold of the big toe, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. Slowly release the head down and then by your side. Nice and slow with control. We're gonna release the left leg back down on the mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce a few times. Now we're gonna go with double leg lift. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring both legs up to the sky. Don't just swing your leg up and down. Hands behind your kneecap, flex the feet. Let the blood circle back to your heart. Sliding the hand foot up the leg or grab a hold of the big toes, lifting the head chest up. Tailbones automatically comes up. Engage both your arms and legs. Continue to stretch hamstring, not carrying tension. In your neck, shoulders, or upper back. And when you have enough of it, we're going to slowly release the head down and down by your side. From here, we're going to bend both knees. Wrap your hands around your knees. Going into a big circular motion if you like. Covering the bigger area. Massaging lower back. And sacrum. And reverse. Come back to center, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, make yourself small. If you can grab one of the feet, go ahead. Make yourself into a ball. Continue to massage internal organs. Slowly release the head down, lift your feet up to the sky, come into a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Inner arch, outer arch, holding onto the big toes or any part of the legs. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, entire back. Now we're gonna go one leg straight, the other leg bend while you're rocking side to side. Do what babies do. Slowly come back to center. Open up your legs in a big V, grab a hold of the big toes or any part of the legs. Continue to run side to side, touching down on the floor if you have room. Opening up hip joints, stretching out inner thighs. When you're in the center position, let go of your toes, keep your legs open in a big V, and then when your side half facing down. When you're ready, we're going to sit on the legs, one time in front, one time behind.
Two more times. And one last one. Bring your legs together. With control, we're gonna release the legs back down on the mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Getting ready to come up, so we're gonna bend both knees, raise your right arm. Roll over to the right side, making a pillow of the right tricep. We're gonna stay here for a moment in a fetus position. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up, coming into comfortable seated position. Stretching out the neck next, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide support the head, lengthening, stretch, relieving the tension that you may have. When you're ready, you can go to the other side. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, guys, on the head, stretch. Slowly, slowly come back to center. And we're gonna open up the body again, arms up, chin up, head back. Exhale to close, chin to chest. Couple more times, inhale, open up the body, shine the chest up to the ceiling. Exhale to close, one last one. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Slowly come back to center, shoulder strap, right arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead binding hands behind your back. Know your range of motion. Slowly release, shake it up, the other side, shoulder stretch first, arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Looking forward. And slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. Combine hands behind, go ahead, binding hands behind. One side might be more flexible than the other side, so that's perfectly normal. So keep practicing. And slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Hands on shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Continue with shoulder exercise. Oiling the shoulder joint. If you're gonna pinch your shoulder blade. Improving your posture. Gonna do a few rounds of rotation. Try to bring the elbow close together and reverse. Slowly, slowly release. So we've come to the end of the class. Taking our three final closing breath here. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale to bring the arms forward. Exhale to open up nice and slow, gathering energy from each other. Inhale your arms up above the head, palm touch. Exhale down, sending the energy back in. Again, inhale, arms forward. Exhale to open. Inhale your arms up above the head. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms forward. Exhale to open. Feel the tingling and warm in your palms. Inhale your arms all the way up, palm touch. Exhale down. To close the practice, we're running the thumb to the third eye or in front of your heart. Thank you very much for joining us, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.